individuals, as consumers, as human beings, mm -hmm. we're supposed to have goals that we're working towards. What is it that you, you are striving to achieve? What is it that you, you are yearning to see happening in your life? At what time frame? At what cost? What are we waking up towards every day? So those are the questions that should be driving us. Because one of the reasons why most people are struggling and, and end up being over um, committed with finances is because we don't have proper goals in place and we, we lack the discipline to keep to the goals. So we, we are supposed to have financial goals since we're talking about money. You could have personal goals in terms of your academic achievements, you want, can have goals to lose weight, you can have goals to get married at a certain point yes. in your life, and that kind of thing. Yes. But financially, you're supposed to have goals as well. Because even these other dreams and goals that we're talking about, they have a link to money. They need mm -hmm. to be financed That's in true. one way or the other. So those should be your goals. So we, we need to have short, medium, and long-term goals. Short is anything between zero and up to three years. What are you able to achieve in that space of time? It's not something that's going to be complicated. It cannot be complicated. Oftentimes, it's not something that's very expensive. Mm -hmm. Between zero and three years, small and yana things. Small and yana <laughs> things that you can achieve. Yes. Then medium is six, I mean, three to six years. Yes. And, and, and long term is six and beyond. Mm -hmm. You can plan to renovate your house. You can plan to build, to build a wall. The, the next person wants to buy a car, but they need to raise a deposit mm -hmm. uh, of about 10,000 rand. That can take them a year. For the next person, maybe raising 10,000 rand can take them two years. Mm -hmm. So we, our situations are different. So plan according to your circumstances and your finances and your ability.